Hey guys, Kyron 97 again, this time with an unboxing of the Warm 44 scale Hazel Icarus unit conversion parts and the Warm 44 scale Hyzak Vanner gun conversion parts, all resin kits provided by E2046. Links in the description down below. So let's first have a look at the Hazel Icarus unit and I'm really looking forward to putting this thing together uh, during that Hazel review marathon I already announced in one of my previous new loot videos. And I mean, especially this thing. Here we have a picture of what the finished product's going to look like. And I mean, come on, this thing, it's a Hazel and it's the prototype for the Byerland. Let's see, here we have the manual. All the pieces we're going to, oh, very important, all the pieces and the manual. Let's have a look at it. Should be clear enough to follow. And, oh. More here, just oh, once again, the parts can so that's it's the same as the other paper. So let's have a look at the pieces that we're getting. And after a thorough checkup of all the pieces while well, they're still in their packets, I have been able to deduce that this is probably the best kit I've gotten from E2046 so far. I was able to detect almost no problems with the parts whatsoever. Like, uh, the biggest one I found was here where there's like a little bit of excess on the piece there which is super easy to sand off and that's all that I have to do there and I was especially impressed with the details on the thruster right there especially like the minute details right there and that is something that's often kind of off uh, with resin recast like the real real fine details like those little lines all there and the other one just the same really I mean, I am extremely impressed with this so far. And when you look at like all the other little details, like little hoses over here, also like the little seam lines are just very well done. And overall, this is looking very, very promising. And just looking at the parts, this is going to be a very nice build. And then we have here, the final bigger part and once again like only a little inconsistency which is going to be easily fixed by sanding i mean like it's a little bit uh, waved right there like a little bit too much uh right here which is just yeah take the file sand it off and then it's done and once again the undersides i mean just look at the detail right there i am very very pleased with this and this is definitely not going to require a lot of extra work other than just removing the excess resin from the part so i mean that's a really good thing the one i was looking forward to the most so far is looking the best that's extremely good for a start and now let's have a look at the vanergand i mean if the detail of the vanergand is going to be just as good as on the hazel that would be extremely nice. Once again, a nice picture of the finished product. I think very nice beam rifle. Oh, and that is the one thing that's, well, kind of missing about the Icarus, and, or Icarus, depending on which spelling you're following, and that is that the Icarus unit also, sh um, well, on at least the line art, you see that he has like his own special uh, long beam rifle and that's not included with the set. It wasn't included with the original one, so of course not included with the E2046 set either. Um, but he is also supposed to use the regular beam rifle you do get. Now onto this thing, I do wonder uh, which pieces of the original kit we actually still have to use because there are just so many parts uh, for the Hyzak, when looking at this, it's like we're getting a new head, we're getting new legs. I guess we're going to be using the arms of the original one, uh, pieces of the torso, uh, doesn't look like it's uh, numbered at all, that would have been useful, or, ah no I see the pieces of the actual bandai kit are numbered but the pieces we get with um, the resin kit remold aren't numbered, all right, that makes sense. So. Once again, let's take out our pieces and have a quick off-camera inspection of what we're getting. And 
We're getting a lot more than with the Icarus. But looking at these hoses, it already looks like the detail is pretty damn good on this one as well. So after the checkup, how does the Vanner Gant compare to the Icarus? Well, as far as details are concerned, very much equal of the Icarus. Once again, very pleased. Thrusters look very nice. And just the little details like in the hands are all very nicely done. Uh, the only issue with this thing is warping on the gun, which I'll show in an instant. But first, let's have a good look at those hands. I mean, the little detail all looks very nice on those hands. And that's that's one of those things like the thrusters and the hands are usually the things uh, with remolds where things go a little bit wrong. But everything looks to be just okay. And just with the Icarus, like a few things that need to be sanded down. But other than that, no big issues. The one thing, like I said, here is warping. And this part here is supposed to be pretty much completely straight, like right here. And this one seems to have it slightly harder because that's at the end, uh, like quite an ugly bend there. That's going to need some heat warping. But fortunately, that is the only issue. So at least I don't have to fix up any seam lines or anything else. So if that's all I have to deal with with the resin rig molds, once again, that's something you can deal with. Once again, look at the good details all over the place. Like, these seem to be slightly shallower, but I'm assuming uh, with the peg right there that that's in an area where it's not going to be visible because the other side is pretty nicely molded. So, and kind of the same thing Bandai sometimes does, where if panel lines aren't going to be visible once it's finished, they don't really care too much. Because once again, here on the back skirt, some really nice detail going on. And, oh, a very hazel-like backpack. Oh yeah, at first I thought something went horribly wrong with the molding of the shoulders, but that's completely how it's supposed to be. And I was like, whoa, that looks really bad. And then it turns out, oh, that's just the way the shoulders are. And overall, once that gun uh, gets his blue pill and gets completely straight again. Oh, and before I end the video, Let's mention what model kits you're going to need for these conversion parts. Kind of pointing out the obvious, but hey. Of course, for the Hyzak Vanergan, surprise, surprise, you're going to need a Hyzak. I recommend getting the Earth Federation Colors one because you also get, um, well, a few marking stickers for the Titans and the Earth Federation. It's at least something more than with the others. And if you're lucky, you can apparently get one with a hole in the butt uh, for an action base. And for the Hazel Icarus unit, you can use either the Hazel Custom or the Advanced Hazel. Uh, the advantage with the Hazel Custom is that it's mainly a white machine, so priming is going to be slightly easier on that one. But the advantage of the Advanced Hazel is that it comes with two shield boosters instead of just the one. So I'm probably going to be using the Advanced Hazel because I really, really, really like the shield boosters of the Hazels. Well, that's all for this video and see you guys next time. Don't forget, if you want either one of these, links are in the description down below.